Good morning. On behalf of the entire Esri software and product development team, it's great to be here with you today. Science and technology are both advancing rapidly, and so is ArcGIS. ArcGIS is a comprehensive geospatial platform. It's open and services-based. It is distributed and extendable. It's available as both software and SaaS. ArcGIS integrates all types of data. Of course, the traditional geospatial data, like imagery and vector features, but also a tabular data, unstructured data, real-time data, and BIM. It abstracts all of these data into layers to create a common language of maps and scenes and models and tools that can be used by creators and analysts and as well as power applications. Our goal uh, with the ArcGIS product suite is to serve the GIS community, as well as the growing need for mapping and location services, as well as location analytics. The product suite also includes a select set of independent solutions uh, that we call geo-enabled systems. Uh, these work with your GIS, but they are focused solutions that or independent of GIS. ArcGIS also has product offerings for developers who can build their own mapping and geospatial applications and systems using its services, APIs, and runtimes. Let's turn to the foundational capabilities that GIS delivers. Your data is at the center of GIS. Along with additional content from Esri, and the GIS community. Mapping as well as location services bring your data to life. 3D visualization and analytics allow you to work with a wealth of 3D data. Field operations allow you to, power into, allow you to tap into the power of maps in the field and run your operations. Spatial analysis and data science allows analysts and data scientists to gain insight from data. Location analytics brings the power of spatial analysis to business users in familiar form factors. Imagery and remote sensing let you tap into the world of drones, aerial, scanned, as well as satellite imagery, as well as raster analytics. Real-time visualization and analytics lets you harness the power of sensor networks and the IoT. Here we see the Esri geo-enabled systems that I spoke about. They are hub for citizen engagement, urban, business analyst, indoors, and mission for situational awareness and collaboration. Let's now look at the logical architecture of the ArcGIS platform. Applications use SDKs, APIs, and runtimes to work with web resources or items. These items, like web maps, layers, tools, dashboards, and application configurations, uh, are powered by geospatial services for data access, editing, sync, visualization, and analytics. And these services access data from a variety of data stores, uh, both hosted and user-managed. It's now time for a rapid tour through the capabilities of ArcGIS that I, I spoke about earlier. Location services provide spatial context to activities and help customers geo-enable their data. They include a rich set of highly performant maps, as well as geocoding, routing, and geo-enrichment. Smart data-driven mapping allows users to explore data in order to gain insight. It allows applications to communicate information by depicting data in various ways that reveal the contained information. The mapping section of the plenary is all about that, and we'll show you this in depth. ArcGIS Online is a platform that allows you to create and share mapping applications that communicate important information at scale. 
A single trending mapping application, such as the live coronavirus dashboard from Johns Hopkins, may receive many thousands of requests per second and have millions of concurrent users. I wanted to talk a, a bit about the keys to efficient public sharing of data-driven maps and apps at scale. And they include tiles at various levels of detail, including statically generated raster, vector, and 3D tiles, as well as dynamic feature tiles that can be generated on the fly and automatically handle data updates. Application queries that are common to and identical across different users, such as dashboard queries that request data for various standard geographies, uh, are also a part of this. Response caching at both the server and CDN tiers uh, for, for the responses to such shared queries help power these applications. The ability for applications to take full advantage of client-side queries and analytics on data retrieved into the client uh, is also a key aspect. Uh, it allows exploitation of all the cores on all the devices of all the users viewing these maps. And of course, uh, all of these are backed by auto-scaling of server-side compute as needed, uh, based on cloud-optimized and cloud-native designs as well as scaling of databases to handle massive numbers of unique query loads, if present. Talking about location analytics, uh, ArcGIS Insights brings self-service location analytics to business users and analysts in easy and familiar ways. Insights Desktop is a new addition to the family that allows analysts to connect to multiple enterprise instances. Insights now also includes integration with an enterprise's data science notebooks. Field operations allow organizations to take maps into the field as well as coordinate operations. Recent advances include the availability of location tracking in ArcGIS Online, uh, the ability to take pre-planned optimized routes into Navigator for use offline, and the ability to efficiently take data offline in Explorer. We also saw the introduction of quick capture as an easy and efficient way for observers to rapidly capture observations that are visible to them, as well as to easily capture linear features, for example, using the phone as a sensor, for example, when biking. It's been very popular. Pre-planned offline workflows enable efficient offline operations for thousands of workers taking data into the field. Managers can easily create offline map areas corresponding to where crews will be deployed. Packages for these areas are automatically generated and shared by the ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise backends. Apps then download these packages. The packages are automatically kept up to date as the data changes uh, for use uh, by the, the folks already in the field. Uh, these del delta packages are automatically generated for the workers who are already in the field, and the packages themselves are updated for any new workers uh, coming into the field. For many of our users, data management is at the center of the work they do. We've introduced new services-based information models for a number of industries, including utilities and land records for parcel management. In and these include powerful new attribute and validation rules uh, that run on the server and that are written in the arcade expression language, as well as ergonomic data capture and editing tools. We've also worked on making geographic information from ArcGIS important contextual information uh, accessible to engineers who are working on building design and on civil engineering using Autodesk applications. 3D visualization allows our users to work effectively with 3D objects, integrated meshes, point clouds, and BIM models, as well as with points, line, and area-based GIS features. There have been numerous enhancements to visual quality as well as performance with the latest I3S specifications for these 3D layers. Mobile scene packages allow large 3D scenes to be packaged and used offline in applications like ArcGIS Earth. The 3D platform information model 
that is built on web scenes and these I3S scene layers is supported by all of the ArcGIS clients across the platform. 3D analysis includes GPU-based visual analytics and exploratory tools like line of sight, view sheds, uh, as well as the interactive slicing of 3D models and additional interactive tools. These 3D capabilities for visualization and analytics are available across many apps like ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Earth, City Engine, and the Scene Viewer. And they're also available to developers building apps. Spatial analysis and data science is supported by both desktop and web experiences. ArcGIS Pro is a powerful spatial analysis workstation that includes an extensive set of analysis tools that we continue to grow. Both ArcGIS Enterprise and ArcGIS Online provide spatial analysis services that operate on co-located server-side data, including big data. Geoanalytics and raster analytics tools are parallelized to run across multiple cores on a single machine or across a cluster. And they're available both in ArcGIS Enterprise and now in Pro 2, enabling geoprocessing of large data sets ranging from hundreds of millions of features to billions of features. We have a full section of the plenary where you will get a chance to understand this in more detail. ArcGIS Notebooks integrate Jupyter Notebooks into ArcGIS via the ArcGIS API for Python and ArcPy and they allow data scientists to work efficiently with the ArcGIS information model. Notebooks support automation as well as data engineering, spatial analysis, and AI, machine learning, and deep learning. Notebooks were first introduced in ArcGIS Enterprise. They're now available in ArcGIS Pro and will be coming to ArcGIS Online in the summer. There's great potential in applying AI, machine learning, and deep learning to geospatial data. ArcGIS includes many, spe sp many spatial machine learning tools and also integrates deeply with multiple open science libraries and deep learning engines. Analysts can easily snap together open access deep learning engines and ArcGIS to do amazing work with respect to characterizing existing features, for example, characterizing buildings as damaged based on imagery, um, detecting objects and extracting features from imagery, as well as performing pixel-level pixel classifications uh, using deep learning semantic segmentation. Areas of current focus include continued work with multispectral imagery, as well as information extraction from 3D point clouds, as well as meshes. And you're going to hear a lot more about this uh, this morning. ArcGIS is a comprehensive system for managing, visualizing, and analyzing imagery, as well as for imagery-based map production. It has powerful capabilities for serving imagery that is dynamically processed, for visualization and analytics using a comprehensive set of raster functions. It also includes file, it also includes uh, functions for tile generation as well as format optimizations for cases where you just need to serve out tiles from imagery. Raster analytics can be scaled out across multiple cores on a single machine or a cluster and supports both image processing functions as well as spatial analysis functions. RGS has ortho mapping capabilities that work with satellite, aerial, drone, and scanned imagery as well as 3D mapping capabilities that work with oblique drone imagery available in drone to map Site scan, which is, a, which is a SaaS solution that provides hosted ortho mapping as well as 3D mapping from drone imagery, is now part of Esri. And later this year, we will be adding the imagery hosting, visualization, and analytics capabilities that are currently available in ArcGIS Enterprise to ArcGIS Online. ArcGIS allows you to visualize and analyze real-time information from IoT sensor networks. Both real-time analytics as well as batch analytics against archived data are supported. This has been available in ArcGIS Enterprise by the Geo Event Server and the Geo Analytics Server. It's now available as a SaaS solution that frees customers from having to manage necessary infrastructure. 
It's available in ArcGIS Online via the Analytics for IoT extension to online and uses a cloud-native implementation to scale out processing to deal with both large velocities and large volumes of data. It comes with an easy-to-use experience that allows users to connect to feeds, which are immediately viewable as stream layers for visualization. Users can then configure both real-time analytic pipelines, and they can also schedule recurrent batch analytics against the data archived from the feeds. In the area of application builders and development, ArcGIS comes with app builders for easily creating both web and native applications. Web App Builder is a hugely popular tool for building geospatial apps. Experience Builder is our next generation of Web App Builder built on the JavaScript 4 API. App Studio is our app builder for building native mobile applications. You will hear a lot more about these later in the plenary. ArcGIS allows developers to extend the platform, to automate work, to carry out data science, and to create applications, as well as to extend the platform. The Python API, used in conjunction with Python notebooks, can be used both to automate the platform as well as for data science. The ArcGIS Pro SDK allows developers to extend Pro by creating add-ins. The JavaScript API allows developers to create a wealth of applications that can work with the platform. It is how Esri builds the applications that are part of our geo-enabled products. ArcGIS Runtime allows developers to build native applications that run on devices and that can work offline, and that can work with both local as well as remote data via services. ArcGIS has developer offerings for both mapping and location service developers, as well as for geospatial GIS developers. I'd like to turn now to the main product components of the platform and what's new in each of them. Pro 2.5 is the latest release of ArcGIS Pro. It has numerous improvements in areas like utility network services, parcel services, deep learning, and it also introduces notebooks into Pro. They're very excited about support for voxels and volumetric visualizations, which will be coming later this summer. ArcGIS Enterprise has made significant advancements in 10.7, 10.7.1, and 10.8, the latest release including support for utility network services and parcel services, the integration of notebooks, machine learning, and AI, and webhooks for application integration. ArcGIS Enterprise and Kubernetes is a significant engineering project that is in active development and will be released in Q1 of next year. It will offer customers a cloud-native deployment of ArcGIS in their own infrastructure with containerized microservices representing each of the individual capabilities of the system. It will significantly extend the reach of what customers can do with ArcGIS Enterprise, both in the cloud and within data centers. ArcGIS Online is the world's largest mapping and data sharing ecosystem. It has more than 7 million users and 29 million items at this point. We've been working in a number of areas, including making it easier for administrators to manage really large organizations, of which we have many, improvements to search, the new experience builder, analytics for IoT, and more. This year, ArcGIS Online will expand to imagery as well as data science and more analytics. We'll also be focusing on collaboration between different organizations who are using ArcGIS Online uh, to do their work.